Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. Today is April 27th and I wanted to share with you guys something I shared with you five months ago, which was one of my favorite applications you're able to download on your Samsung Galaxy devices. I tried to find one inside the Galaxy store that was not made by Samsung, you know, something that's not really inside of the Goodlock family. And so I found this one here, it's Control Center. And in today's video, I will be sharing out 100 codes that you can download this for free. Now I do want to let you guys know that it's first come first serve and it's only for people that live in the United States. And the reason why I say that is because when you go inside of the Samsung Galaxy store, these are all made and basically established per country. Now, because I live in the United States, the majority of all of my views come from the United States. I wanted to use the United States Galaxy Store version. So if you're outside the country, I'm sorry, this cannot really go for you. Um, but anybody that lives in the United States, if you wanted to download the Control Center application here and you don't wanna pay $1.99, reach out to me on Twitter and Instagram write me a message and then this way i'd be able to send you the codes and again it is first come first serve i only have 100 of them uh today in terms of recording this video it is the 27th with more than likely all 100 should be going out today or it could be gone on the 28th so what i will do to let you know if all of them have been used is below the video i will pin a comment it's the first comment you'll see and I will mention if all the codes have been used. If you notice that 100% codes have been used, please do not reach out. I don't have any more codes. I am limited to only 100. So what you're going to do if you were to, you know, uh, reach out and you want this application for free, you'll go inside of the Galaxy Store. You'll search for Control Center then this is where you go to download. Now inside of the download screen, it's going to ask you, you know, to pay for it, you know, connect it to a card, however you want to pay for it. This is where you go inside of use discounts and then you want to add a coupon or promotional code. So this is one that I'm using for this phone right here. Uh, once you message me, then this is where I'd be able to message you back this code. One of one of them that's very similar to this you can see here. Uh, so you can see Jimmy's promo YouTube, 100% discount, and it works up until April 30th. So more than likely all the codes will be going out today or the 28th, which is perfect timing because these codes are available all the way up until April 30th. So this is where you just go through and then you just finish off the rest of this. So we're going to go, we're going to tap on that. We have the discount code. We're saving $1.99 pay now. And that is basically about it. So this is where you want to put in your code. If you have a code with your Samsung account, and then you have the application downloaded. So let me show you just a little bit of this application just so you guys kind of know what you're able to do with it. Now, sometimes with some of these shortcuts, you are able to choose which application is opening when you choose it. So right now there is no, you know, there's no other, uh, you know, here's all the codes. <laughs> so there is no other application that is running right now. And if I wanted to play music, all I'd really have to do is tap on the play button and it's going to open up my YouTube music or if you want it to open up Spotify and then you hit the play button. Now, if it was already playing, then this can be your control sitting right there. So you don't have to pull it off from the very top. Sometimes it's easier just a simple swipe off the right hand side rather than moving to the very top to change your music, change the, uh, the also the volume right here. If you don't have the ability to click on the volume right over here, sometimes maybe, uh, I don't know, your finger is just not ready to press this button and it's easier to maybe tap the screen somewhere. So maybe your phone is sitting down like this and you don't want to go there. Uh, this is where you'd be able to tap on the screen to change the volume. Now, the one thing I do wish that they were able to do was kind of have that whole swiping option here where you can just slide it up or down. But the way that some of these applications are made, sometimes they're made like widgets and you're really not able to do that. So you are slightly limited which, with what you are able to do, but sometimes it's almost easier just to tap on the screen. So if you do want to go through, you can change the volume here. Then if you wanted to change your brightness, you'd go right over here. You'd be able to type 
anywhere really on the screen to to change the brightness but because we're shooting a video i'm going to keep it up uh, one of the nice things is that with the flashlight right here uh, it does give you the option of changing the brightness of the flashlight the leds on the back of your phone and a lot of times in order for you to even change the brightness of the flashlight you'd have to go up inside of your settings right up over here and then you'd have to do a press and hold on it and then when you press and hold, then you got to turn it on. Then this is where you can change the brightness level. And some people might not have even known that they were able to do that. A lot of people just kind of flip it on, flip it off. Um, but when it comes down to the, the control center over here, once you tap it once, it's going to, you know, flip on that little LED light in the back. And then this is where you can change the brightness level. Now, if you don't really know what all of these icons mean and you want to know what all of these icons are indicating on the front page as well as the second page, and also you can change the order of where all of these are located, um, then you'd be able to go inside of the settings. Now, what you saw, what I just did right now is that with some of these that would give you a shortcut. So, you know, if you're going to be recording the screen, uh, or taking a screenshot, you know, things like that. Let's say calculator. So calculator is one camera is definitely one. When you press and hold on the calculator, um, it's going to open it up in a pop-up view and you can change how large or how small you want it to be. So let's say that we go inside of the settings. When you move over to your control center, when you add it on as one of your little edge panels, you just make sure that you click it. This is where you go to edit. Now inside of edit, this is where you can put it into the order you want it to be in. And if there's some of these that you don't want to be, you know, on the edge panel over here, you can actually hide the controls on the very bottom. So if you find yourself that you're not really going to need the capture a certain portion of the screen, you can bring it down. Uh, if you wanted to use something with a sound assistant, then you'd actually be able to bring it up just by hitting on the little plus button. And then once you add it in, uh, you'd really be able to place it wherever, you know, again, that you want it to go. So I just want to show you that you can move all of these around. You can put them in different orders. I kind of have it set up to the way that I feel comfortable with um, and, you know, kind of where I know where all these icons are. So you got your your media control of the play. You also have your screen rotation. When you see this moon, that means your do not disturb. Here is your sync sound mode connections, uh, your flashlight. You can go to your lock screen and then as well as the volume and brightness, which you saw on the bottom on the front page. Then it goes into the second page, which is your smart view location. This is your home back recent and calculator. So if you feel that you might not really need the home back or recents, if it's something that, you know, you can easily, you know, simply hit on, you'd be able to move right on down. So there's home. Let's also move recents. We could bring this down over here as well. And then let's also go with back. We don't fully need that one. Uh, as well. So then here we go. Uh, here's your clock, your voice memo, the camera. You also go inside of your notifications. You can go to your quick settings uh, tiles. Here's your capture of the full screen, screen recording, scan QR code, and then your screen timeout. Now on the very top right hand side, this is where you go to more and you can head inside of the settings. And this is on the very top where you can change the way that it looks. So right now mine is transparent from what you've seen from before. If you want it to have a lighter color, you can have it look like this. If you want it to look, you know, a lot different. I feel that that kind of looks more like iOS, looks more like, uh, like an Apple thing. Uh, you can also go for a dark option and then you also have auto. So I do like the option of transparent. Now this next one is the, the panel layout. So originally mine is set up as page. So you can switch it between this page and then the next page and then the next page. Uh, you can go to list if you want it to uh, kind of have this scroll effect. So if you would rather have it scroll, uh, this is the way that you can have it set up. And there was more options here, but again, we did take off the, the home recents and back. So that's why it looks a little bit shorter than before. So if you want it to be a list or page, I'm going to keep it as list. I do like the fact that I can bring it up and down. You can show the battery percentage and the time on the very top. I think it looks really clean. So I like to keep it right there. Uh, you also have your vibration intensity, the panel size, the top bottom margin. Uh, and then this is where you can choose what uh, your music fate or music player would be as default. So if I wanted to open up Spotify by default, then I can choose Spotify. Uh, I do like to use YouTube music here and there. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep it as YouTube music, your screen timeout options. So when you tap on that last image, at least that I have set up where it says screen timeout options, you can switch it between 30 seconds, one minute, five minute, 10 minute, but you also have other options as well, which I think is really cool because by default, uh, most of those are not sitting there. 
Then you have connections, volume and brightness. You can even have your, vol your volume slider show. So if you do want to have the option to slide your finger with the volume, if you turn this on, once you tap volume, then your slider will pop up and you can slide it up and down if that's something you need to do. Then you also have these two right here for the volume long press action will open up your volume control brightness uh long press action will open up and toggle the adaptive brightness mode for applications if you have a particular application that you like to use for your calculator or your camera or your clock you know maybe camera you like to use snapchat or something calculator maybe you have a third party calculator you can set them up to be different uh, and then when you do screen recording you can have it uh you know record the audio if you want it to so you can turn that off and then here's some of your outputs as well so there is some of the settings that does come with you know a lot of the stuff that you're using inside of this edge panel of the control center so again you know i'm going to keep it as a list i like this option i think it's a little bit better than pages from what i had from before um, but again this is you know one of the things that i like to open up and honestly the amount of times i open up an edge panel to either go into those settings or to use uh you know these options right here it is so often in the day that it's it's crazy uh and honestly what i probably should do because i do kind of swipe a few times i am going to go through and what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch i want my smart select to actually be first and then i'm going to have control center be second because that is something um that i consistently use so here we go so smart select control center my two main things that i always use now we're going to head on back and that's pretty much about it so now this time Anytime that I'm inside of my, my control center, I'd be able to swipe over. Here is my, my smart select, a lot of things I use multiple times a day. Uh, and then it goes over into everything else. But I just wanted to share with you guys, uh, you know, a hundred of these codes. Honestly, I just used one. So there's 99 codes left. Again, first come, first served. Uh, if they are completely full, make sure you read. Make sure that I don't already have a comment pinned, meaning that they are all used. So if you don't see a comment pinned where you know they've all been taken up, then that means that there's still some available. So if it's the 27th, if it's the 28th, if it's the 29th of April, and you notice that I still have not pinned a comment stating that they're all gone, that means I still have a few left. Uh, and then I'd basically be able to copy and paste of these codes to you and then you do it just like what you saw at the beginning of today's video. But thank you again to the developer of uh, uh, the control center right here. So the Edge Team Pro or Edge Pro team came out with me, uh, helped me out, give you guys these codes. So again, give them a big thank you as well. Um, they liked my original video and so we partnered up together to give out 100 of these codes. And if you guys appreciate this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.